Yeah, uh, how you doing again? Uh, this is a Sudanese funny man. I uh, got another joke that I wanted to say today. It's about a three people who lives in one house. Three of them were single. They are not actually married. Two of them were healthy and fit and they were in good condition. They actually work and have a good income. A third person was a blind man who was living with them in one of the rooms. And the blind man actually the two of them were looking after him and, and, and he actually spent the whole time at home. So here's the thing. The other two, every weekend, they come to the house with two girls. They have fun the whole night and the blind man will be listening to the noise that is happening in the house. You know, people having sex, girls screaming and things like that. And the blind wasn't actually happy about what's going on. But he doesn't actually know what to say. So every weekend the same thing happened. And one of the weekend, the blind was really upset. They didn't have a breakfast in the morning. They were calling him to have a breakfast with them. He says, no, he doesn't want to have a breakfast. All right, they thought maybe he's not, uh, he doesn't have an interest to have a breakfast early in the morning. So maybe Later on, he might gonna have lunch. And the lunch time came, they call him again to have lunch. He says, no, he's not interested to have lunch. And, and the two block boys start, start to, ask, to ask each other, what's going on? What's the matter with this guy? Why is he refusing to eat? Did we say something wrong to him? Nothing. And the dinner time came, they told him, hey, come over and eat. He says, no, I don't wanna eat. And one of the block tell him, hey, come over here. What's going on with you, bro? Since, yet, since this morning, you didn't have a breakfast, you didn't have lunch, and you didn't have dinner with us. What's the matter? Did we, did, did we say something wrong to you? Or are you feeling unhappy with us or something? He says, you know what, guys, I'm not really happy with what's happening in this house. Every, every weekend, every night, you guys come in this house with two girls and you have fun all night. I've been listening to all that screaming and yelling and all this shit, and no one will even think about me. Come on guys, I live with you in the house. Why don't you guys think about me either? They said, well, you didn't, you didn't tell us that you wanna, you wanna have fun with us. We would have bought you some, you know? He says, well, okay, here's the thing. How much does it cost to bring a girl in the house so I can have fun with you guys too? They told him, man, you know, it costs only one dollar. So it costs only um, one dollar and a half. If you can pay one dollar and a half, we can't bring one for the whole night. He says, okay man, I love that. I'll pay two dollars for you guys. she will get you one and get me back to change. I said, well, okay, no worries. We don't have any problem. We can get you the change as soon as we get you the girl, all right? They went out. And on the weekend, they got, they got three girls with them. Every one half girl. And they got in one. But the one they got to that bloke was too damn big. The girl was huge, man. Too X. A girl that, if she step in your car, you'd be like, fuck, man, I don't want to pick out five people. You know, she's too big. <laughs> one person in a size of five people. And he was trying to grab the girl up, you know. He was trying to grab her, you know, to hook her up and to hug her and kiss her and touch her body and stuff like that so he can feel that sexual emotion, you know what I mean? So he tried to touch the girl from the side, he couldn't even reach the side. And he tried the other side, he couldn't even reach it. And all of a sudden, the guy started crying. <laughs> fuck man, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Didn't I just fucking tell you guys to bring me a girl with $1.50 and get me back the change? Fuck you man, what's going on?